Let's get right to it. We've talked about this in a video before, but I've added a few subscribers since then. Thank you. So I thought I'd let you try to defend it again. So my son found some more of my trolls on Reddit the other day. Let's address them. Let's do it with some data. There are many top firms talking about this, but Gartner is the most well-known and the most respected. In the real world, more than 85% of all data science projects fail. Now, I'm guessing you didn't get that or didn't hear that, so let's try it again. Most data science projects in the real world fail at an 85% clip. What career or endeavor in life would you succeed 15% or less of the time and call yourself a success? Right, none. Now, I won't drone on and tell you that I was the very first person in the industry to predict this, and I did it in 2016. If you can read, there's a history of everything I predicted and everything I said has come true. Right now, it really doesn't matter why data science has failed so miserably. I know they failed for many reasons. However, you and I know it's mainly one. Companies hired academics with no real-world data skills that couldn't spell SQL, and all of their projects paid a massive price for that decision. This goes straight out to the Reddit trolls and all the others, of course. You believe that working in a job that has a failure rate of 85% of the time is prestigious or somehow a reflection on your intellect? Maybe you do. After working for years with this generation, nothing would surprise me. Here's another moronic statement I found on Reddit. The last to be fired are researchers and faker scientists. All right, listen. Before you pretend to have any real-world insight, it might be a good idea to do some research. I've done several videos on the mass firings of faker scientists and researchers at every top tech company. I'll put them below in the comments section, so in case you can't read, you can watch them. And you'll see that recently, over the last year, Amazon, Facebook, and Tesla cleaned out entire teams of researchers. The great part about being me is I have the answer key. After 30 years of working in sundry data roles, I know exactly what the real world looks like. So, let's hear it. In the comments section below, why don't you defend your great data science job with the 85% real world failure rate? Oh wait, you're going to fix it. Maybe they just need to hire you. <laughs> Here's the truth, so suck it up clowns. Data science is one of the biggest failures in corporate America, in the IT sector, and there's nothing you can do or say to explain its massive collapse otherwise. Keep this video around, it's going to age well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.